Welcome back, everybody, to Osiris New Dawn in the Casual Construction Series. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to continue our build here. Um, but before we do that, a couple, couple things to talk, excuse me, uh, to talk about. You guys told me in the comments that the furnace and the workbench and I guess the printer and the chem station and all that kind of stuff can actually now go inside of a habitat. I did not know that. Um, so... What we're going to do is we're going to test that with this habitat. And if that is, in fact, um, doable, then we might change things up a little bit in our crafting habitat. Okay, so why don't we do this? Why don't we grab... Um, yeah, let's grab our workbench. And we'll test this first. Okay, and I, I guess we could grab... Well, yeah, let's just test the workbench first. Okay. So we'll come in here and we'll go to utilities and workbench. Look at that. When did they change this, you guys? I, I had no idea that you could do this now. Um, I can't remember who it was that made that comment, but thank you very much for letting me know this. I, I did not know you could do that. And the cool thing here, too, is it looks like it doesn't have to be locked into a wall. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, so that kind of changes things. Let's, I'll tell you what though, let's also test this with a furnace um, and maybe the other stuff too. Uh, so what I'm going to do is get into here and let's just grab one of these to get the, the stuff out of here. Okay, and then go back, put this back down here. Okay. This is cool, man. I, I did not know that we could do this now. I, I, I missed those notes. I usually read the patch notes, you know, when they come out, but for whatever reason, I guess I missed this one. Okay, so let's go to utilities and furnace. Yep, look at that. We can just set it anywhere on the floor in here. That is amazing. Okay, so um, let's also check and make sure that the printer and the chem bench can go in there. Now, one thing to consider, though, just because we can do this, does that mean we should? The advantage of having everything out here is that we've got all of our storage in one place, right? Um, we need to we need to eat. Where is let here? Let's go into our habitat here and eat for a second. So, you know, by moving stuff indoors, it could make our storage situation a bit more of a pain in the neck, at least the current storage situation. On the other hand, another thing we could do is maybe set up uh, another habitat, or we could fill this entire habitat with storage units. The only problem with that is we wouldn't have any windows, but that's okay, because we're going to be going up with this one anyway. <sighs> I'll have to think about that. I'll have to give that some thought. But anyway, let's go ahead and eat some food. Where is all of our food? Um, is it in the buggy? I don't know what I did with it. <laughs> we, we must have put it somewhere. Because uh, there's nothing left at the uh, other base. We have moved everything over. All right, looks like it's in here. So we're looking for the crab stew. But we have to be indoors to use it. Okay, that should take care of all of our food and water problems for a while. Um, all right, so I guess the other th thought that I have on this is we could leave everything out here for now while we're doing the build, and then when we're finished with the build, then move stuff indoors. But I'll tell you what I want to do. Uh, I want to just kind of see what that's going to look like. So let's also take all of this stuff apart. Okay. And so we have... Um, you were telling me that you guys... Whoever was telling me that was saying that you put the... You kept the forge outside. Like presumably because it's too tall to fit in the... Um, you know, inside, I'm guessing. Okay. Okay, so let's go up, back up here. 
I'm, I don't know, I'm kind of, I kind of think we should have windows on this ground floor. This is really more of a foyer. It's, it's just an entry, you know, to the other places in the base. So, I don't know, I got to think about that. But if we did put stuff in here, we could put things in the center. Um, hmm. All right, so um, let's just play with this a little bit here. So we're going to go to utilities. We could put the furnaces here. Um, I guess you can't put it all the way in. And it looks like there's really only probably room for two. So let's hold this out here. And then we'll slide over and do the other one. That looks pretty, pretty lined up with that one. And this is kind of cool because we still have, you know, the windows then that we can see out of. Actually, it looks like the one on the right is a little far over to the left. Let's see if we can move over just a little bit more. And again, I'm, I'm not necessarily going to keep these here. I'm just looking at the possibilities more than anything. It really does kind of make sense for us to, you know, to keep them outside next to the storage while we're doing the actual build itself. Um, let's move this over this way a little further. Let's try that. Yeah, that's pretty pretty even. Um, and uh, again, like I said, we still have the window to look out, which is great. Okay, so um, let's see here. So the printer is pretty good size. But what I'm thinking is we put it in the center. What we could maybe do, here's here's what I'm thinking. So we're going to have to do a fine-tune adjust so that it lines up with the tiles on the floor there. I think that's good right there. Okay, so let's put this here. Um, I thought that was... Uh, sorry, I'm, I keep getting dinged here <laughs> put in reverse uh, last time I put it down I had to put it in reverse to get it to go correctly uh, so let's try this again utilities oh wait maybe did I do that backwards yeah I think I did okay so what we want is we actually want it facing the right way while it's in the kind of the green ghost mode here and that's just it doesn't quite line up absolutely per well is that yeah that's pretty close and then let's try and get it so this lines right in the center just little tiny movements there there we go okay that looks good. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to... Let's take a look at the chem station. Oh, okay, so we can't put the chem station in here. Why is that? Why not? Uh, is it... Oh, okay, I'll bet it's a... I'll bet it's a, um... Like a hitbox issue. Maybe this has a larger hitbox than we expect. It'll, it'll let me put it in here. Is it because this isn't pressurized though? Here, let's go. Let's try it in here. Yeah. See, it lets me put it in here. It's got to be a hitbox issue. Let's just whoops, let's just try it again. What about up against here? No. Nope. 
It does not want to place in here at all. All right. What if we take this back out for a second? Um, is it something to do with the ceiling? No, because, <clears throat> excuse me, the other place has a ceiling. Is there an, a limit to how many th pieces you can have in a place? I, I don't know, man. I'm, like, really confused about this. Okay, well, I mean, of the two, I'd rather have the printer in here because we're going to be using it more often than the chem station. Um, I just don't understand why it doesn't, we can't put it in here. I mean, I know I could put it out here in the foyer, but this is supposed to be a foyer, right? Um, yeah, that's bizarre. I don't know. Let me know in the comments, guys, if you have an idea why that doesn't fit. Um, okay, so let's go back to the printer. And let's get it lined back up. So I want it... Um, yeah, I guess I want it lined up with this line here. And then we'll do a fine-tune adjustment. Okay, now what we can do here is we can take and put a couple of workbenches in. Um, okay, go this way. Let's make sure we're lined up ourselves with the floor. And then get the workbench lined up. Kind of hard to tell for sure. I think that's pretty close. And then what we'll do is we'll put one there. And then the other one on this side with the different upgrades. And that still gives us a decent amount of room to move around in here. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll I'll give this... We might do this. We might not. I kind of like the idea of having all of the... Or, or at least most of the crafting stuff in the same area. The downside to this primarily is, A, um, we're going to have more limited storage. So we would possibly want to build another habitat going out this way but if that if that one also doesn't show the supports um like this one's not then um that i don't i don't think i'm gonna like that i don't think i'm gonna like that um or we could fill up the you know the the foyer habitat with storage which kind of makes it then no longer the foyer or what I intended for it to be with having windows and stuff in place. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to think about this. I think for now, though, we're going to just keep everything back outside uh, because it is right next to the storage and it just makes sense to do that for while we're actually building our base. And then, you know, once we're mostly finished with the base then I might end up moving this stuff back inside and maybe you know maybe another solution will present itself uh, to me in the meantime that will work that will allow us to have stuff in here and still also get you know to our storage easily okay um, I, I want to keep this open look isn't that a cool thing <laughs> cool view looking right through the skylight at the floating rocks I want to keep that open there so okay let's put everything back we, we're probably gonna take a little bit of damage from the storm but whatever <sighs> We got work to do, so we can't just sit around doing nothing. So we're going to put stuff more or less back the way that it was. Uh, let's see. So we had the printer here. We want it facing the wrong direction so that it faces the right direction. Um, is that lined up? Yeah, it, it's lined up. Okay. It doesn't look like it, but it is. And with a little bit of room for us to get through... Doesn't look like it's lined up, is it really? 
Yeah, I guess it is. Put the printer back here. Come on, Storm. Get the hell out of here. I don't have time for you today. I got that bass backwards, too. <laughs> we want to turn it this way. Okay, uh, so those are back in place. And then uh, we want to get our workbench back. And we're just using the... Uh, we're just using the upgrade for the tools right now. We're not... We don't need the armor upgrades for now. So we got to do the repair bench upgrade first. And then the tool station upgrade. Probably don't even really technically need that for now either, but we'll do it anyway. And then uh, two furnaces. Oops. And let's see, we're doing the uh, fuel cell upgrade. Let's get them all set here. And the precipitation collector upgrade. All right, everything's back in place. Storms are, they, uh, you know, the thing is too, is I set the storms back to normal uh, length, but it doesn't ever take. So every time I log back in, it sets back to what I originally started the game with, which is basically twice as long. So it's like, whatever, whatever game. All right, let's put that in there. Okay. Now, we are ready to get started. Uh, I think the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put some more of our our plates down uh, or our paneled floors down here, and then we're going to work on getting our uh, laboratory set up. And I'm going to put the laboratory kind of over on that end of the platform. So uh, I think mostly what we're going to need is steel and rubber to do the platforms, and that's actually going to be in here. Steel. Oh, I guess I have some steel and rubber in my inventory. We're going to need more rubber, though. So, let's see. That means... I thought I made more rubber. I probably did, and then I used it, right? Let's get all this hydrogen, and I think we also need Lawn's Delight. I am not going to stop working, Storm. You can just screw off. And the Storm's saying, okay, I'm just going to keep damaging you. <laughs> oh, shit. No power? Wait, what? Uh, why is there no power here? Did I move? Oh, you know what? I'll bet you I moved it out of the, the range of this. Yeah, it's out of the range of that. Okay. Um, well, I guess we could just put it right here. We don't have to walk through that specific area. Uh, so let's do that. Okay, let's crank out 23 more rubber. Oh, wait a minute. Do we actually... 
Do we need rubber for these? Maybe we don't. Maybe we just need steel. Uh, we just need a steel. Okay, well, we'll need the rubber for other things. Trust me. <laughs> we will definitely need the rubber for other things. So let's put this stuff back in here. I mean, it's it seems... Why do I have all that... All those in my inventory. Oh, did I forget to do an upgrade somewhere? We never upgraded this. I don't. We don't really need the weapon fabrication upgrade on here. Well, what, let's just put it back on. Maybe we will need it for something. Okay. Did that get all those pipes? No, nope, it didn't. I don't. I don't know why I have those pipes in my inventory. I still, we're still missing something. What, what am I missing? Did we have like another furnace set up? I don't know. I don't know, man. Whatever. Let's just put, no, that doesn't go in there. Let's put these ores back for now. So we're not super duper heavy. Um, I think I was about to say that this storm is last. This is way longer than twice as long as the normal setting. Uh, so it's, I don't think it's even working correctly at all. So I might, I might end up just restarting the game because this is ridiculous. All right, guys, let's go ahead and continue extending our platform out a little bit more. Uh, what I think I'm going to do is uh, I might, I might replace all of this with, I kind of like this, <coughs> excuse me, like this pattern better. Um, so what we'll do, and we also wanted to go with glass too, but I, I t I'll tell you what, let's do. Let's see if we can line up the laboratory with that opening there, uh, which means we need to put it in here and then, um, just kind of see how that comes together. Okay. So, oh crap, I'm going to need all of this stuff to do this. Okay. So let me go grab more stuff okay I got all the stuff let's go to structures and laboratory uh, all right so um, the first thing is, is can I actually I'm not gonna actually put this here but I want to see does it would it let me put it on here Nah, it doesn't look like it looks like it has to be on the ground just like the other buildings okay that's fine all right so what we want to do is we want to make sure we're right lined up with the coupler here uh we're so we're facing i guess the coupler doesn't line up exactly with the tiles so let's just put our crosshair right in the center of the coupler and then make sure at the top we're pointing due directly south that's close enough and now we're going to turn north and uh, do the same thing okay what we want to do though is we want to rotate the laboratory this way and then um if we pull it this way further okay that's over the things um can we lower it there's it, it right oh okay right there is pretty good actually um could we pull it right to the edge maybe it is at the edge it's kind of hard to say oh right there Okay, can I go down a little more? Nope, that's right about there. Okay, let's try this. Make sure we're pointing north. Oh, man, as soon as I did that, it got screwed up. Okay, let's try that. I mean, we can always pick it up and redo it later if we had to. All right. Um, I guess it is a little bit over the panels here, isn't it? Okay. Now, I guess the thing about this is, if we're going to stick with this, um, I was going to put an airlock in here, but, hmm, let me look at something from up here. Do we need an airlock in here? is the question let's let's put one in there we can always pick it back up if we decide we don't want it right 
Um, so let me get the stuff put together for this. All right, let's put, <coughs> excuse me, put this airlock up here. Oh, wow, that one actually comes all the way down. Why, di why didn't this one come all the way down? That's a re... <laughs> That's a really steep incline, though. But, I mean, it works. We can go up it. Huh. Yeah, I, j I, have to, I have to just boost a little bit, but then I can walk up it. Interesting. Let's... Just out of curiosity, what would happen if we tried to rebuild this one here. So let's uh, pick this back up. Guess we have to dismantle this from up here. Uh, we got to take all the walls back apart too. Well, you know what? No big deal. Let's just do it. Okay. Now, let's try this again and see if this time it will go all the way to the ground. Structures, airlock. No, it doesn't... Uh, seems like it went down lower this time, though. Does it have anything to do with it being over the the tiles there, maybe? Or maybe we were in the way. Maybe we should try and put it up there from a different angle uh, where we're not ourselves in the way. Okay, so let's do that. Let's kind of be off to the side here and then try it again. No, it's still levels dangerous. doesn't want to do that. Okay, let's try something else then. Let's put... Let's put some more uh, panels down. So I guess we're using these... Oh no, those are different. Well, here, let's just put these down right for, for the moment. doesn't have to stay that way. It's doing its um, thing where it doesn't want to go in. Can't quite get it to... Excuse me, snap green there either. Okay, well I don't know if that matters anyway, so let's let's cancel that and then try the airlock again with us out of the way. Nope, it still does not want to go all the way down, so I don't know what the difference is between here or there or why the game, you know, lets that one go all the way down and this one doesn't. It it seems like it's gone it's lower than it was before though. So, I don't know. Okay, well, anyway, let's pick these back up. We could put a floor here. Okay. And then we want to go back to custom stairs. We want the skinny uh, stairs. We want to flip it this way. Whoops. Make sure it's lined up with this one. Um, I'm thinking it might go... Does it need to go that way one more? Yeah, I think so. 
Okay, and then we'll hold it up as close as we can until it turns green. And that puts us back where we were. Okay, good enough. That's the way it's got to be, that's the way it's got to be. Okay, so here's the thing about this particular setup here. If we actually make stuff in here, and we will, especially something large, it's going to potentially throw it out over the top of the, the building, but I don't know, that's probably not that big of a deal. The, the biggest thing is the spaceship, and we've already made the spaceship, so I'm not too worried about that, unless we decide we want to push this back a little further. So we could. I mean, we got more space here that we could push it back. But then if we do that, can we also add... The problem with that is we can't add any more of these panels before the ground starts, you know, clipping through it like right here, which I, I don't like. So, I don't know. I think we're going to keep it that way. I think we're going to keep it that way. Okay. So that's decided. Now, um, I, I don't know. I might leave this paneling the way it is. But what we could do is we could start mo uh, working with this paneling here. You know, to kind of match that over there. Except for that this was where I wanted to kind of start using glass. But... Yeah, actually, here, let's do this. Let's escape and pick these back up. And we'll start the we'll start the glass here. Okay, so we I think we said we liked these better than the other ones. Cool. Okay, so, yeah, what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm just going to start laying down a bunch of these platforms. I'm not sure exactly how far out we're going to go at this point. Um, we might go all the way across. We might not. We'll see. Even if we don't build the platform itself all the way across, uh, I'm definitely going to you know do like a little bridge across, uh, if nothing else. But it looks like we are out of material uh, for now. That is cool though, man. We I gotta go down there and pick up some of those pieces that we accidentally, you know, uh, put down there. I think there's one off over that way too. So yeah, I'm gonna just uh, work on getting uh, these put down, and then uh, you know once that's done, oh, <laughs> there's a piece way down there too. You know, once we have enough of a platform here, you know, then we'll bring the spaceship over, and we'll just have a nice little flat area that we can land it and a place to park the vehicles and everything else but guys um this is actually a good stopping point for me um so i'm going to let you go here i also want to uh, just let everybody know that i'm going to be out of town all of next week uh, i'm flying out tomorrow um on october 16th uh, with my wife to vegas and we're going to have a, a little um kind of mini vacation there and then later on in the week, I have to work uh, in Vegas for a few days, and I'll be back next Friday on the 22nd, late uh, late in the afternoon, early evening, and then probably sometime uh, that weekend, uh, I'll record the next episode, and then we'll go from there. I, I just didn't get around to uh, pre-recording Osiris episodes uh, this time around uh, with everything else that's been going on. So, um, yeah, there will be a week with no Osiris content after this video, and then when I get back... Uh, the plan will be to continue with the casual construction series. It is still my intention um, to start up another um, uh, hardcore, uh, you know, uh, permadeath series, too. Uh, I haven't forgotten that. It's just that, like I said, you know, things have been busy, had some other things uh, going on right now. But uh, it's still my plan in my plans to do that uh, in late October or perhaps early November. Okay. So with that being said, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in about a week from now. Bye-bye.